So we talk about our nine inch M18 fuel cutoff saw. One of the main benefits of this tool is it's light, it's compact, it's great for working if you're overhead, cutting wall, cutting brick great portable solution that is just easy to maneuver, has a built-in water spigot, has a rapid stop brake so it'll stop the ball blade in three seconds or less, not having to worry about that blade running as a, as a danger to the user. While well, giving them great performance whether you're cutting small, small cuts into concrete or cutting rebar or metal. But then we step up to its big brother, the MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw. What this tool is going after is your traditional quick saws, your true 14 inch cutoff saws where they're plunging five inches into concrete. And while this saw is not designed to replace a gas cutoff saw, we can't do the runtime, but it is a great solution when you're working indoors, hospitals, schools, and those situations where you can't have the fumes, right. but you still need to do your job. Right. And the nine inch might not have the depth you need to cut your trench, while well, still a great solution for things like rebar, cutting block, so we'll put you over on this one because it's hooked up to our water supply. I like that. And we're gonna have you set up with our M18 switch tank. So one of the big things with this is getting rid of that pump. Now you do not need a pump. All you have to do is make sure you have your battery arm, turn your nozzle, and you're all set to go. You know what my favorite part about this though is? You don't even need to have a spigot close no. by. You could just be anywhere it's portable. Yep. What'd you think? I think I think there's a lot of power. Yeah. I was trying to I was trying to go full depth. I didn't want to go too deep, but it was hard, hard to stall. So this is the MX Fuel Breaker here. And I think one of the big benefits here is not just its weight, it's two pounds lighter than the closest one in class. And so two pounds doesn't sound like a lot, but imagine you're breaking. You're lifting this thing All constantly. Oh yeah. And so two pounds adds up. The other thing is the floating body design. You see that? Yes that passes vibration, or prevents vibration from being passed to the user, because the body just floats, rather than passing it to your arms that shake. Yeah, heck yeah. Wanna give it a go? What'd you think? I think it's a beast. Nice. Yeah, how do your arms feel? Nah, they're, they're good. Not too bad? Nah, it's fine. Nice. It's a lot less vibration, a lot less weight. I, it really doesn't transmit. It, you would normally feel it up, up and down the forearms, you're not feeling it. Even, even the gripping. Now, you wanna hear the coolest feature of this tool? Yeah, I, actually, actually I do, yes. You ever uh, buried a chisel bit in concrete? Got it stuck? Yes. How do you get it out? You have to bang on it, pull on it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe get another breaker to break it loose. Okay. So with this tool, rather than having to swing this all the way around so you can't get it out, usually I have my foot on that. All you gotta do is pull to there. Okay. And you're able to lift it out. So if you bury your chisel, you don't need the clearance to get it all the way underneath. It doesn't take as so much clearance, so you can just pull the breaker off. Gotcha, that's pretty cool. Last stop. Here for you, sir. So right here we have the MX Fuel Vibratory Screen. So this is a new product coming to the market February 1st. So this is the first time anybody's getting hands on with it seeing in person. And one of the big things when you talk about vibratory screens that are gas is reliability. They have a tendency just to be unreliable. You'll see three, four of them on site because they're backups. So with this tool, giving them an MX Fuel battery, our CP pack. Guess what, it's not that bad. No, it's about five pounds. It's not too heavy, but with our CP battery, so long as they have it charged, they have confidence that it's gonna start. And now, you might have looked behind you, but what do you think the runtime is? On a 12 foot bar, this is a six foot bar. What do you think the runtime is with this small battery? I, I would say like a maximum 30 minutes. Two hours. Wow, okay, cool. So with a 12 foot bar, we can give up to two hours of runtime on a 12 foot bar. And that's not just a two hour pour. 
That's two hours of me holding this trigger, running it. Wow. And we'll have our own bars as well. The six foot here, we'll have up to four to 16 foot. Under those longer bars, it gets really awkward. I mean, this is six, and it's still a little awkward to carry with that bar on either side. Right. Imagine a 16 feet. So you, some, you can attach multiple units. Sir, the same bar. what'd you think of the weight? Me? Yeah, what'd you think of the weight? Foot so foot you, you picked it up. What do you think of the weight? Right there it feels good, but when you put that box on a 14 or 16 foot, you know, it might be heavy. I don't know. Right. Yeah. How much is that uh, weight gonna weigh 16 foot long? So it weighs about two pounds per foot, or two pounds per two feet. So it'll weigh around uh, 30, 30 pounds 30. for that. It is a magnesium bar. Can't pour it wet then. Uh, about the only but for the size of the bar and the, and what's here, the package, it feels it feels right. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Did you give it a run? Yeah, give it a run. Here, yeah, I'm not for you. Maybe he'll get there instead oh, of me. You turn it on, it's all triggered. Right there, I'll buy it. This one Listen, I don't, want a, I don't want a concrete screen. I do. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I wanted to include you, get, get your feedback from it. All right, it is 10 o'clock, so we are going to do a raffle drawing for anybody that is currently in the Hold on one, Milwaukee hold on one second. If you don't have a raffle ticket, you probably want to come up here and get one. Yeah, raffle ticket. If Wait, you hold do on. have a raffle one ticket, second. go ahead and pull it out. We're going to read off some numbers. Numbers 984357. Big winner, big winner. Awesome. Woo. He's coming up. Oh, she won. Who won? Aaron! <laughs> I'm not getting you home. <laughs> it is nice. Yeah. So this this alone was 20 something, you said? 2499 with two batteries and a charger. And then the boards. Yep. Yep. And the board's separate. Four to sixteen foot. Dean, we appreciate your feedback yeah. and your help. Thanks. Awesome. I feel like you said it all. Yeah. Did we have to go over anyone? No. No. Dean was a great, great expert witness for this product. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here here, and maybe over here. See you later. <laughs>